is the best way to go, Medicare Supplement or Medicare Advantage, and having dealt now with thousands of seniors over the last 20 years of being a licensed agent as of the date of this video, I got my license in 1995. And over those years, I've seen so many tragic stories on the Medicare Advantage side. Primarily starting with the fact that many agents out there, as just happened this morning, told one of these lovely seniors turning 65 that they have free Medicare insurance that they are entitled to. And I'll stop doing air quotes now. But it really bugs me because there's nothing free in this world. And the fact of the matter is, if you abdicate your Medicare benefit by signing up with a Medicare Advantage plan, and that is you no longer can use the benefits of your red, white, and blue Medicare card, and that is a tremendous benefit that you are entitled to your Medicare benefits. But if you go to a Medicare Advantage, as the agents are calling it, a free plan, you no longer have the rights and the remedies and the benefits of being able to go to any provider that accepts Medicare in the country, any facility, any health care clinic, the best of the best neurosurgeons, surgeons, doctors. You are limited then if you do the Medicare Advantage route. And I'm not saying it's, it's bad for everybody. Some people have no choice. And for them, I'm sorry. But if you've got the choice of going to a free Medicare Advantage plan, please understand that all the benefits of your red, white, and blue card are suspended. For that one year, you have signed a contract with a Medicare Advantage plan to replace your original Medicare benefits. Your agent won't tell you that. As a matter of fact, the AHIP certification that agents must go through tells them that they can't tell you that. So the agents are pushing this free Medicare Advantage solution for you and I want you to check a couple of things to see if I'm right, okay? Under Original Medicare, you can go to any provider in the country that accepts Medicare. See if that's true on your Medicare replacement plan, I mean your Medicare Advantage plan. See if, if you get cancer and you can pick up the phone and go to uh, MD Anderson Cancer Treatment Center down in Texas, one of the best facilities in the country. Or if you want to go to a cancer treatment facility that specializes in cancer treatment, See if you could go under your Medicare red, white, and blue card and then check with your proposed Medicare Advantage plan and find out the horror there. See, one of the reasons why they can offer these free plans is that they're government subsidized to manage your care. And they're not only managing what care you can get, they're managing the cost of keeping the cost just as low as possible. They've already been paid. So the, the ideal goal there is to manage the cost as much as possible, aggressively as possible. So again, you're now outside the Medicare system, and you must run a one-year contract. We've seen maximum out-of-pocket cost. That's what you're expected to pay every year, maximum out of your pocket. We've seen these increase from $2,000 to $3,400, now up to $6,700 out-of-pocket. So the cost for you are going up. The benefits are going down and they still call it a free plan in many parts of the country. It's the agents that are erroneously saying that. So what's the solution? I firmly believe, believe that the Medicare supplement solution that came in the 1960s is still the best. Why? Because you maintain your right to have original Medicare, which is fantastic insurance, but it only pays about 80% of the bill. And if you take that Medicare as a base, the freedom and the flexibility that you enjoy with original Medicare, which is the best, and then couple it with a supplement plan that pays all the rest of the bills on medically approved, Medicare approved necessary claims, it means you still have the flexibility to go anywhere you want to, but you don't have the ups and the downs of a free plan. What do I mean by that? The lady I talked to this morning in South Carolina was told about a, I'll, I won't name the company, a free Medicare Advantage plan where it only costs $250 a day for seven days, for every day of seven days if she goes into the hospital. She said, yeah, but this isn't going to cost me anything. Really? Look in your summary of benefits and see what it's going to cost you if you go on. Now, I'm challenging everybody that's selling these Medicare Advantage free plans. Look at the benefits if your senior client gets cancer, okay, and they need chemotherapy. Just take your time, go over and look at the summary of benefits. You'll see that what would typically be covered under Part B of Medicare, if you're getting uh, chemotherapy administered in the doctor's office under Part B or in the hospital under Part A, is covered at, what are you left with? 
Here's a trivia question for you. What do you have to pay as the client on a Medicare Advantage plan, most all of them, under chemotherapy? It's right there in the summary of benefits, folks. It's right there. Look at it. You still have to pay 20% of all the bills. But you might say, wait, isn't this a Medicare supplement plan that's supposed to pay that other 20%? No, it's not. See, a Medicare supplement is a Medicare supplement. A Medicare Advantage plan is no supplement. So on certain things, they have lobbied and gotten the ability to just completely not pay for that category. They say to Medicare, we're only going to pay what Medicare would have paid on that benefit. We're only going to pay 80%. It's on you, the client, to pay the rest of it. So here's a very real reality for you. You get cancer on a Medicare Advantage plan, you got to go to their facility, you got to see their doctors, their specialists, and you're getting the doctors and the specialists who have agreed to the low capitation rate, which is a monthly rate of get, getting paid whether or not you go to see them. So their incentive, again, is to keep the, the cost low, which means oftentimes shorter visits and quicker care and more patients, right? The more patients that they get on that monthly roll, the better. So follow me here. You have to go to their facility, get their level of treatment. Usually it starts with the least expensive treatments first to rule those out and see if that would just solve the problem. And then at the end of the day, if you're diagnosed with cancer and you've got to have the chemotherapy, you're on the hook paying 20% of the bill up to your maximum out of pocket, which is most often now $6,700. But only wait, it gets better. Let's say you're diagnosed with cancer. Worst case scenario, and that's what insurance is all about, worst case scenario. Many of you already know somebody who's been diagnosed with cancer at some point in their lives, right? So it's not that far-fetched of reality. But let's just say Medicare Advantage plan, zero monthly premium that you're on, maybe. You get cancer in October, right? So you've got to go through all these hoops of getting the referrals, the specialists, the pre-approvals, and all the stuff that's only unique to Medicare Advantage because you don't have any of that in the supplement world. You go through the, you play the game, right? Now you find out you're paying 20% of these chemotherapy costs. You suddenly hit your maximum out of pocket. You've now paid out of your pocket for this free plan, $6,700. End of the year comes, you have your Christmas party, you've got New Year's celebration. Then you find out, wait a minute, my chemo is still going on. That's right, your maximum out of pocket has reset based on the calendar year. And now they want another $6,700 before you stop paying on that free plan that you have. And again, the limitations of your primary care doctor, your specialist, your network, your cancer treatment center, all have to be contracted with the HMO for you to get any benefit at all. You go outside that, you step one foot outside of that network, and you pay 100% of those costs. So if your friends and your family tell you, wait, the best oncologist in the state is down in Houston or down in Charleston or down in Los Angeles, and you say, well, let me check and see if they're in my Medicare Advantage plan network. Wait, the best specialist is not in my network. That means you can't see them, folks, unless you're paying that entire dime out of your pocket. And suddenly that free deal that you got, pushed by the agent who's saying, there's a free plan out here for you. You, you deserve this free plan. You've worked your whole life for this free plan. Let me propose an alternative to you. You get original Medicare and you keep that Medicare red, white, and blue card. You know, one last thing on that, it makes me sick that there are agents out there telling seniors literally to go shred, put away, and destroy that Medicare red, white, and blue card. Why do they say that when you sign up for a Medicare Advantage plan? Because you can't use both. You can't use your Medicare red, white, and blue card and then show your Medicare Advantage plan. No, you better put that one away because it's no longer valid for you. That's a fact. You've just got to use the Medicare Advantage plan. Don't confuse the providers by showing them that you've got Medicare because you don't. You've got a Medicare Advantage plan replacement for the next year on that plan. Okay, I'll get off the soapbox for a minute. The best alternative, really, is to keep your red, white, and blue card. That benefit you did earn. You earned it by working 40 quarters or more in your lifetime. You've earned the benefit to Part A of Medicare. You buy up to Part B, so you've got full coverage there. And then you get a supplement that sits on top of it and pays those extra bills. So you're not paying the 20% of every doctor bill, every x-ray, every, all the lab work, all the stuff that's done on Part B. And you're not paying $1,200 or more to walk into the hospital every time. Same scenario, let me give you what happens on a Medicare supplement plan. You're diagnosed with cancer in October of any given year. You go to the best oncologist that there is in your state. You pick the best doctor you can find based on friends, relatives, online reviews, and everything else. And you make an appointment, you go straight to them. Doctor accepts Medicare, fantastic. That means they also accept your supplement, by the way. Doesn't matter which company brand is on your ID card. If they accept Medicare, they also accept that supplement. You don't have to call ahead and say, do you accept my 
Cigna, Aetna, Mutual of Omaha, Medicare supplement? No. If they accept the Medicare as the primary, the supplement will pay that extra bill. Okay? So you make that appointment with the best oncologist in your state. Oncologist informs you you're going to have to start on chemotherapy. We're going to do it right here in the office. It's going to be covered under Medicare Part B. Don't you worry about it. Between Medicare Part B and your supplement, you're fully covered. So imagine you walk out of the office, best oncologist in the state. He gives you a good prognosis if you follow everything that he says, and he doesn't start with the cheap stuff. He gives you the best treatment possible. You need an MRI, you've got it. You need a CAT scan, you've got it. You need exploratory surgery to go get a biopsy on something. You don't need to get an approval of a medical director and a Medicare Advantage plan trying to manage your care. You get the treatment that your doctor said you need the first time. And sometimes with cancer, when things are growing inside your body, treatment time is critical. You don't need to go through an administrative bureaucrat who can or can't decide whether or not you need that treatment because it may cost too much on your free plan. So again, Medicare supplement, you go to the best doctor, you get the best treatment, and all you're paying every month for that benefit, for that freedom, for not having to navigate a network that changes all the time and formularies that change on their Part D drug plan that they just stick you with as part of that free plan, your cost is a monthly premium. You have a set monthly level premium. That premium's not spiking when you go in the hospital. That premium doesn't spike because you decide to go to a doctor that you choose. It's the same level consistent premium. Most all of my clients are on a fixed income. That means they don't have the luxury of running out there and working five hours of overtime to pay for that new doctor copay that's just been embedded in their free plan. No, they have a consistent monthly premium that they can count on being the same every month. That is security. That is safety. And it's reassuring to know that if the worst case scenario happens and you've got to get the best possible care and you need it now and you don't need to convince anybody that you need it and get pre-approvals and authorizations and referrals and all that nonsense, that's why I think the Medicare supplement is the better play. Having one stable, consistent monthly premium that you can attach to your budget and know, you know exactly where your money's going to go. You know exactly where you're going to go if you have the worst possible diagnosis. So back to the money. Medicare supplement, you're diagnosed with cancer. October, you start Medicare. I'm sorry, in October, you start the chemotherapy. Guess how much money you pay out of your pocket? Nothing. Your supplement and Medicare pay the bill. So at the end of the year, your maximum out of pocket, if you're on Plan F, is going to be just your monthly premium. If you're on Plan G, you've saved more in your premium and you pay the Part B deductible. It's like $147. That's your maximum out of pocket. $147 on Plan G, saving the best premium, the best stable plan out there, or $6,700 on most Medicare Advantage plans, which rolls over January 1st, and they expect you to pay that again before the, you, you stop paying all your co-pays, deductibles, out-of-network out of charges if you've got a PPO and, and all those kind of things. So. I want to challenge the agents that are selling these and pushing these free plans that they're calling it. There's nothing free in this country. And let me just explain something to you. The senior generation that I work with, the senior clients that I talk to every, every day that are making these decisions on which plan to go to, they don't need to be sold a bait and switch where something sounds too good to be true and then they find out at the worst possible time, at the worst possible time of their life of a diagnosis of a critical incident critical illness that they've got now to then suddenly come to the realization that, oh my God, what did I sign up with? You know, they say if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And many times on these plans where they have zero premium, they want you to come in, all the bills are paid by the government already, the insurance company's been paid. Sometimes you get what you pay for. And seniors sometimes find that out often just when it's too late. See, if you sign up on a Medicare Advantage plan when you're 65 years old, two years into this thing, you, you get some kind of chronic problem or some kind of critical acute problem that you've got to deal with right now, you're going to hit that maximum out of pocket. You're going to hit all those co-payments, the up to $2,000 on every admission into the hospital, whatever your plan specifically is. And look at the summary of benefits to find out what does it cost you for a seven-day stay. If you go get a heart bypass and you're in the hospital for seven days recovering, what's that going to cost you? What's the specialist visits going to cost you on all the follow-ups there? What's the lab work going to cost you that's going to be on top of that? So it's, uh, it's quite challenging to find all that stuff out after. 
to find out then suddenly, oh my God, this is in my benefits. And there's no worse story than having somebody call you and you offer them a Medicare supplement, explaining this as best you can on the front end to have them go to a free Medicare Advantage plan because that's what the agent sold them is. It's free. And then to find out that now they're reading that summary of benefits. Now they're, now they're listening. Now they're paying attention when back when they were turning 65, I'm healthy. That'll never happen to me. It's free. That sounds good to me. I've earned it. That sounds even better. Where do I sign? Because see, two years into it, if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan and you have heart attack, stroke, cancer, something significant, then that Medicare supplement plan, which sounds really good now because it pays all the bills, and you can go to any provider that you want to go to, suddenly that's not available to you anymore. Because after that six-month period, if you're no longer healthy, you can't get that Medicare supplement plan anymore. The only time you could have purchased it was when you were turning 65 or when you were in really good enough health to qualify for it through underwriting. After that point, you can't just walk down to your agent and say, I want that good Medicare supplement plan. Because that would be like saying to your homeowner's insurance agent, I don't need insurance. My house, my house is healthy. My house is good. Never going to catch on fire. Then suddenly it catches on fire two years later. It's in flames and you pick up the phone, call your insurance agent and say, Oh my God, I've got a problem. I need coverage right now. Can't happen. The best time to buy a Medicare supplement plan is when you're turning 65. After that, the best time to buy a supplement plan is when you find out that there is such a thing called a supplement plan and your health allows you to get one through underwriting. But for many, it's too late when they figure that out about their Advantage plan. So anyway, my rant will conclude now. And it just start, got started this morning when a senior told me that they got signed up on this free plan and everything's going to be fine and they can just go to the doctor when they want to and pay a small copay. It's just not that simple. There are more calculations to it. And again, what I've found in my experience is that seniors like a consistent, stable, monthly fixed cost so they know what they're going to be paying so they don't have the spikes and the lows of having a Medicare Advantage plan where they may have to come out of pocket $2,000 here or $2,000 there, up to $6,700 every calendar year for what they thought was good insurance. It's not the same thing as Medicare, folks. It's not. You can't go back and use your, re your Medicare red, white, and blue card so long as you're on that contracted Medicare Advantage plan that year. You're either doing one or the other. My recommendation, stay on original Medicare and get a supplement as soon as you can and hold on to that thing for dear life. Unlike a Medicare Advantage plan, which is a one-year deal, the Medicare supplement can never change on you. It's guaranteed renewable for life, and they can't cancel you based on you suddenly getting sick or even moving across state lines. You've got that plan as long as you keep the premiums paid, which is why it's a good idea to be on the direct deposit, uh, the direct bill, where they automatically draft your bank account every month, only on that one thing. Because you can't lose that coverage on the Medicare supplement. It is too valuable. I've seen the supplement plans pay millions of dollars in claims for people over the course of their lifetime, and they would not leave that plan. They would not do without that plan because they've experienced the benefits of it. So that's my rant for today. Consider Medicare Supplement over Medicare Advantage, please. It will save you a lot of stress and a lot of money down the road. My name is Chris Westfall from the Senior Savings Network. I hope this has been of value to you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.